Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. This video is going to be about how to install an Ubuntu Linux in Windows 11 as a subsystem for Linux version 2. So let's get started. The Ubuntu Linux in Windows 11 as the Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL runs as a Windows app. So we need to open the Microsoft Store to install it. On the search box of the Microsoft Store, type Ubuntu. Here you can see the different versions of Ubuntu Linux are listed. You can choose the any of the first three apps. The second one is the latest version. So click on it to get it on your Windows 11 machine. This is a free app, but you will need to sign in with your Microsoft account to continue with the downloading and installing process. Click on the get button. It's asking how old am I? We can see the reason behind asking my age here. Enter your date of birth, select your country or region and click on the next button. Click on the next button to confirm your date of birth or click on the back button to correct your date of birth. Now wait for a while and click on the install button can see the Windows 11 Microsoft Store is downloading the app and its data. It's more than 490 MB in size, so it may take some time to complete the download. So I pause the video here and will be right back after the downloading is complete. Okay, the downloading of Ubuntu Linux version 20.04 is complete now. So click on the launch button. Unfortunately, we got an error. WSL registration distribution failed with the error and the error code is displayed here. On the next line, we can see the Windows subsystem for Linux optional component is not enabled. Please enable it and try again. You can also copy the given link and get more information about the error. Instead of copying the link and reading more about the error, hit enter and, and proceed further to enable the required components. Again, press the Windows key on your keyboard on the search box, search for turn Windows features on or off. Here, check the boxes of the features, Windows subsystem for Linux, virtual machine platform and Windows hypervisor platform. Then click on the OK button. Enabling the feature requires to restart your PC. So click on the Restart Now button. After your PC restarts, try opening the Ubuntu app again. Again, we get another error. WS requires an update to its kernel component. For information, please visit the given link and press any key to continue. This means that we need to update our kernel version according to our file system type. Now open a browser and paste the URL that you just copied from the terminal to open the documentation of Windows subsystem for Linux. Here on the topic, download the latest package, we can see a note. If you are using an ARM64 machine, please download the ARM64 package instead. And if you are not sure what kind of machine you have, Run the given command on the command prompt or the PowerShell. You may not be sure what kind of system you have, so copy the link, open the command prompt or PowerShell and paste the link. My PC is 64 based. So I click on the given link to download the update package. The package size is very small, so it is downloaded in a few seconds. Now you can go to the downloads location and double click on the WSL underscore update underscore x64 file to begin the installation of the updates or you can simply click on the progress bar of the download that will launch the installer after the download is complete. The installation is completed. That means the kernel is now updated to run the Linux on Windows system. Now let's try to open the Ubuntu app on Windows as a subsystem for Linux. 
This time we don't get any issue and the virtual terminal of the Ubuntu Linux is open. It's installing the required stops and this may take a few minutes. So I fast forward the video. Now you need to create a new Unix user. Type a username and hit enter. Then type a password for the user. Please note that the password is not visible while you are typing it, but it is accepting the password that you are entering. Retype the password to confirm that you are typing the password correctly and then hit enter. Here we go. The installation is successful. Now we are ready to work with the Ubuntu Linux in Windows 11. Running the command cat space slash etc slash os dash release. You can see which Linux it is, which version and some more other information. Okay guys, this is how we can install the latest version of Ubuntu Linux in Windows 11. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Goodbye.